Hello everyone, Mia here. If you're used to the quality photos a DSLR takes and you want the video you shoot with it to match, then you should start from the ground up. The right tripod and tripod head can make all the difference when it comes to shooting shake-free video. When shooting video, it's really important to have the right base to get smooth, level shots. You'll need a fluid head and a sturdy tripod to get video that looks clean and professional. So what is a fluid head? And how is it different from the ball, pan, or gimbal head you use for photography? As opposed to the swinging motion of the gimbal head or the more freeform motion of a ball head, tripod heads for video applications tilt forward and back and pan. That is, they rotate along the horizon left to right. Now, some heads advertised as fluid heads don't actually have fluid inside. Of this particular group, only the Manfrotto has fluid cartridges. But the important factor to consider is the friction-free movement of the head. This reduces any jerkiness from the camera operator. And among this group, I found that they all performed smoothly. A good fluid head will have a series of locks. One lock should hold the tripod plate in place. One will unlock the tilting feature and one will unlock the pan. You'll find these locks on even the most affordable video heads and tripods. Take this Magnus, for example. It has simple controls that work well for your basic maneuvers. In the field, I liked how quickly I could set it up, unlock it, and begin shooting. If you want more control over the speed at which you can tilt and pan, you'll want to look at a fluid head with tension controls. I'll show you what I mean on this Manfrotto head. This model is the 502 HD. One tension wheel controls the drag on the tilt, and the other controls the drag on the pan. A drag refers to how fast or slow you want to turn the head. Think of what it feels like to run through water, that resistance you feel against your body. Well, that's how this works. You can control the amount of resistance against your movement to get nice, steady pans and tilts. In fact, video shake is most noticeable when you're zoomed in and following a subject like a sailboat or wildlife. This is where the fluid head and tripod combo really shine. No matter how tight your shot is, you should capture video that looks effortless and friction free. Moving up a bit in quality to a fluid head like you'll find on this Sockler tripod, you can expect a counterbalance control in addition to the locks and tension controls. Counterbalance is about more than keeping your camera and tripod from toppling over. If the right counterbalance is maintained, the camera remains stationary at any tilt angle, so you're able to maintain precise control without the need to hold the camera by hand. The other two heads have a fixed non-adjustable counterbalance that will work with a wide range of cameras, but this Sockler head gives you control over the spring-loaded counterbalance. So no matter what type of camera and lens combo or camcorder you put on top, you can find the perfect counterweight and you never have to worry about your camera ending up in the dirt. Counterbalance especially comes in handy if you're working with a larger camcorder or a rig to hold your DSLR and accessories. Now, these tripods can support up to 8.8 .8 pounds. Now, before we get into the tripods, it's important to understand the different ways that the video heads connect to the legs. This Manfrotto head features a standard 3 8 inch socket that connects to the tripod's corresponding screw in the same way that photo heads do. Other heads, such as this Suckler Ace Fluid head, connects to a corresponding bowl on the video tripod. This comes in various sizes, 65 millimeters, 75 millimeters, even 100 millimeters. So make sure your tripod and your head can fit together properly. A good video head will have a bubble level to help you line your camera up with the horizon. Unlike photography, video is almost never shot on an angle. The half ball leveler heads like this Ace and Magnus feature a grip underneath the head. You can use it to rotate that head and find a level shot. From there, you can set your counterbalance correctly. Now, with heads that attach through a screw like the Manfrotto, you'll need to adjust the tripod legs to level your camera. Let's move on now to the tripod itself. Don't make the heavier is better mistake. There are plenty of good tripods out there for DSLRs and consumer camcorders that are lightweight and easy to tote. Now, if you plan to use the tripod in inclement weather situations or on unsteady surfaces, then you might want to look at some heavier alternatives. But for your average shoots, the Magnus VT4000 will provide a strong, sturdy base and it weighs just under 8 pounds. The Manfrotto 055X we're featuring weighs 8.5 pounds and the Sockler Ace tripod and head comes in just under 10 pounds. All of these tripods are made with aluminum and should all feel solid under the camera. Another part of the tripod that could make a big difference when shooting in the field is the spreader. 
This is a three-spoke mechanism that extends and collapses the legs. Some tripods have ground spreaders, which are great for low-angle shooting and feel very steady. The downside is they can only be used on flat, even surfaces. But most have middle spreaders, like you'll find here on the Magnus and the Sockler. These allow you to adjust the bottom of the legs to accommodate uneven surfaces. The higher end Sockler offers an adjustable spreader, which is helpful if you're shooting someplace where space is limited. You can pull the tripod legs in as close as possible and still get a stable level shot. The Manfrotto 055X doesn't have a spreader. Its leg angle is adjustable with these metal levers. This is an advantage for low angle shooting. This tripod has a low angle adapter that allows you to get nearly to the ground for extremely low shots. A middle spreader prevents you from getting an angle this low. Let's move down the tripod to the feet. If you're only shooting in the studio, then basic rubber feet will be fine. But if you plan to shoot outdoors, look for a tripod with rubber feet that retract to expose spikes. Spikes can come in handy on dirt to root your tripod in place. There are a few extras that I would recommend to make your life a little easier. If you're working outdoors, make sure your tripod has a hook for a weighted bag. That way, if the wind kicks up, you can keep your sticks firmly planted. Check to see if the tripod you like comes with a carrying case. This lined Sockler bag is a great example of one that's easy to tote, protects your equipment, and looks professional. If there's not a bag included, does it have easy to carry grips on the legs so you don't have trouble with it sliding in your hands, especially if you're shooting in the rain? Now you should feel comfortable picking out a tripod that will accommodate your video needs. I can't say enough about making sure you choose a fluid head and tripod that you're comfortable working with. So if you can get your hands on them before you buy, do it. Then you can get a feel for what you like best. I'm Mia McCormick. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. You can also connect with us on the web.